Hey, I'm Dr. Cosfrey. I'm one of the pediatricians here with Parkview Health in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And I'm here to talk about nebulizations today. And we'll go through some of the steps as to how to set up the machine and how to make sure your child is getting the treatment that they need. So this is one of the typical machines that your doctor might prescribe for you if your child has asthma or he's, he or she is wheezing from RSV bronchiolitis or for any other reason. This machine has a compressor and this is the tubing that typically comes separately, kind of like that, and then you would attach the tubing to the machine, and this is the other end of the tubing. This end goes into the small container into which the medicine actually goes. Today I have Ben with me, and he's here to show us how to use the machine. This is albuterol. This is one of the basic medications that's usually prescribed. There's the medicine and you just put it right in there. As you can see, it is a liquid when it goes in. Then you close the lid, and after you put the liquid in, make sure you're holding it upright so the medication does not spill. And that's exactly what you wanna see. Now, depending on your child's age, we can either use a mask or one of the mouthpieces. Now, Ben, how old are you? He's four. So usually when you're four years old, you tend to use a mask because it is a better fit for the child's face and it prevents spillage. And then you can kind of help the child by adjusting it in a way that the bridge of the nose is where that sits and it's covering his mouth. Because kids his age, when they breathe in, they're gonna breathe both through their nose and their mouth. So it's kind of important that the mist goes in there. And then the next step would be to make sure this is connected to the mask. Let me put it in right there. Just like that. So I feel okay still? Okay, let me turn it on. And then you'll see that this liquid is turning into a mist. And if it's correctly fitted, you'll see that the mist is not coming out from the sides of the mask. If you have one of these, this will go inside the child's mouth. And again, you'll see that the liquid is changing into a mist and that's going into the child's mouth. Make sure that the child is taking deep breaths so that the medication goes all the way into the lungs. If your child seems to be frustrated or scared, just make sure you take two minutes, calm down yourself. And then if, if there is a way that you can calm the child down, which could be watching a movie, listening to music, or maybe get their favorite book. For other kids who are more nervous, you might even wanna put the mask on your face or on a teddy bear and show them that there's nothing to be worried about, so they kind of calm. As far as cleaning the machine, that's kind of important also. What we typically recommend is, since this is the part that the medication goes into, and this is the part you use to you know, apply the medicine into the child's mouth, clean it, so take it off like that. To clean it, you would put it in soapy water for at least 15 minutes, let it soak. Then after that's done, take it out, wash it in water, and then just keep it out to dry. Every setup is different. Machines come in different shapes, sizes. Make sure you check with your physician to know how to use the machine, what kind of masks to get for your child, um, and always touch base with them if you have any questions.